Good morning, everybody. I think it's been over four months, but it's time to go back to the tent. Are you ready to go, Max? I'm about halfway up to the tent right now. We're maybe 10 miles south of Duluth. And you can see in the trees here that they're just starting to get some leaves on them, just starting to get some grain. Back at home, I'd say the leaves are about halfway out. Since I have over 100 miles yet to go north, I bet you that none of the leaves will be on the trees up there yet. I better stop and support our animals. I was debating last night and this morning if I wanted to bring up the new dresser to put in the bedroom up there, but they said it might rain. I'm glad I didn't. No green on the trees, really. What do you think, Max? Are you sit I'm sitting there? Everything seems in order. Looks like we've had a critter in here that pine martens like to come in here. So a couple things got messed up, but not too bad. It's 57 degrees in here, and it's 59 degrees outside, so I think I'm going to uh, get a little fire going in the stove and take the chill out of the air. Okay, well I got everything unpacked in there. Got the wood stove going. It's actually nice and warm in there now. And uh, what I did was, if you guys remember when I went down to Louisiana, I brought my other 9.8 Mercury down there, along with another boat. So that left me with no motor on this one, so I purchased another used Mercury 9.8. And uh, I got it to start at home and run, but I've never had it in the water. So I think it's time I go out and give it a try. So far, so good. Today I peeled a bunch of logs out there. You guys saw that I took the boat motor out and stuff like that. Now I'm just getting some supper going. Old Max, who is very old, he can't hear anymore, so I'm going to have to do a video on him coming up because he's getting very old. But I got him inside because it's only, what is it, 55 outside and I've got it up to 75 in here. Tonight for supper I'm just going to do a couple of baked potatoes, uh, some veg all, mixed vegetables, whatever, and uh, some, what is that? Some chuck eye steak. Here you guys can see the logs I peeled today. These were cut about a year and a half ago and just set into a pile. So the bugs have done their job and the bark came right off. But this might be some really good stuff. And it's about the size that I need for the table that I'm doing and uh, log beds, everything. So I'm going to haul these home.
gotta go outside, Max. Okay, everyone, well, it's almost 10.30 at night. I'm off to bed. Good morning, everyone. It's about 5.45 in the morning. It's supposed to have some rain later on today, but for right now, it looks like we're going to get some sun. Decided to throw a bobber out with a little worm on there. Uh, fishing opener isn't until Saturday, but perch and sunfish and stuff like that is open right now, year-round. So, see if I catch anything. Just gonna drive the loop, see if any trees are down. Looking at that one right there. That did not lean like that last year. I'd say that one's coming down. I don't know if you guys remember, but last year in the spring when I came up here, this was completely full of water, which it usually is in the spring, but we didn't get a whole lot of snow this last winter. And this was completely underwater for, I don't know, all the way up till it gets a little bit higher over by that pine tree on the left. So that's amazing how dry it is. Look at this hole right here, and then there's a whole bunch of turtle eggs. I wonder if they hatched or if something dug these up and ate them. There's actually a whole bunch of them. Here's another one that just had a couple in it. And here there's this little trail that goes down. Let's see if you can see it. There's a little lake down there. But there used to be, I'm sure there still is, all this garbage that's been here for years. You could find little bottles and jars. I'm gonna see if I can find it. Looks like a lid off of one of those ball canning jars. You always find the jars, but not the cover. I think I'll keep that. Co-op coffee, never heard of it. <laughs> Blended to your taste. <laughs> well, it doesn't look like much, but you put a shelf on the wall and put that up there and now somebody's got something to look at. That old floor cleaner and coffee and metal actually on the Johnson & Johnson stuff. Amazing. Throw that bobber back out, see if I can't catch a few more fish. I'm not sure, but I think my bobber just went down. I was sitting up on the porch. I need to fix my dock. Another little perch. That there, now that there is a nice sunfish. I just reeled in another little perch, so you gotta kinda go down there because I have a bigger bobber just so I can see it. But once you catch the fish, they get tired out fast and don't pull the bobber down anymore, so I can't really tell. Oh, 
Well, I just pulled in this nice bass, but bass is not open yet, so this is going back in the water. That's a little better fish there. Time for lunch. Just pulled this one in. I've pulled a few in here. I'm just not filming all of them, but that's a nice fish there. Holy cow, look at the size of that one. Wow. Now well, that's a nice sunfish there. I'm catching these just one right after the other right now. <laughs> Still been catching fish today. I wanted to show you guys. They're still biting, slowly but surely. Okay, well, I still have my line in out there, but I'm going to get these cleaned up. So far, I have 10 sunfish and five perch here, so I want to get these filleted up. Finally, get to use my fillet knife for what it was made to do. <laughs> I decided instead of freezing these, I'm just going to take them, I just cleaned them, put them in some fish fry, and we're going to get all these fried up tonight, and I can eat them tonight and tomorrow. I was going to make pork chops on the fire tonight, but that can wait till another day. All right, well that's a really good looking dinner right there. Still got plenty for lunch and then some.
Well, it's 20 after 10, and I am going to bed. We'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning, everyone. About 10 minutes to 6 here. It's a little bit chillier this morning. It's only 45 degrees, so I started up the wood stove. I'm going to take the chill out of the air. I just decided to go out for a little walk and check a couple areas out. It's just a little bit after 8 o'clock this morning. But back in here, we've been back here years ago looking for a deer hunting spot, but at that time all these aspen trees or popo here were just slashing, so there was really no place to put a stand. And I'm just going to take a little peek and see what I see. It still looks like an awesome area, and I mean, deer trails are all over in here, but still, no good place to put a stand. Earlier I cut this log, it's a cedar log, I don't know, I cut it probably 42 inches long. I brought up my micro chainsaw mill, I'm going to mill this and see if this is the same kind of cedar as the aromatic. It smells the same, I want to see if it's the same as the stuff we got milled at home. Just sitting here having a piece of fish from last night. I wasn't going to put a bobber out off the dock, but with that water being kind of calm right there, I think I will. The big fishing opener starts tomorrow when you can catch northerns and walleyes and stuff like that, but still try for some sunfish and a few more perch. Oh, it's already went down. <laughs> uh, let's pull it in. For sure is not anything near the aromatic cedar. There is just not the reds in it. I'm still going to cut it into a couple of slabs. I can use it for something. I think I'll just keep them wider, a couple inches wide. I'm not really sure what I would ever do with them, but there they are. I don't know what kind of cedar that is. I'm going to have to look it up. Well, so far I've caught four fish out there. I was over and spent a little time at the Backwoods Cabin. And uh, now I'm going to go in and have some lunch. I'm just going to have leftovers from last night. Um, none of the fish I kept, I threw them all back. So I'm just waiting for some bigger ones. This afternoon here, I'm just peeling. This is Diamond Willow. And I'm just peeling this down because uh, I'm going to have to be making some chairs for the upcoming cabin kitchen table. And I don't know if I'm going to make them out of diamond willow, but uh, if I don't have them peeled, I'll never be able to experiment. Tonight I just went ahead and got everything cleaned up, did the dishes, vacuumed, just kind of get everything back in order. Those are some very thick homegrown pork chops. The whole time I've been up here, I do stuff and then I think of something because, you know, I'm trying to plan the cabin that'll take the place of the tent and I have drawings and then I do drawings, <laughs> continually changing ideas. Max. That's right, you 
can't hear. Come on, big guy. Come on. Well, it's in the 40s out there. Max. 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 So sad. You can't hear anymore. And it just happened over the winter. Well, the coals are almost ready, so I think I'm going to throw a couple burgers on also, along with the chops, because I'm only going to eat one of those chops tonight. But it'll give me an option tomorrow for lunch if I want to have a chop, do I want to have a burger, <laughs> whatever. Well, I'm going to pour me a glass of milk, and it is dinner time. Alright everyone, well, it's a little after 10. Tomorrow's a brand new day. I am going to bed. Fish. <laughs> Second chaos, not bad. Well, that's actually a perfect size eater right there, but even a little bigger would be nice, so I'm just going to put him back. the osprey has a nest up there. I think I'll go out later on today. It's only 38 degrees this morning, so it's chilly, and uh, it's supposed to get sunny today, so we'll try it again later. You keeping your eye on the tent, Max?
There we go. Nothing like a little bit of spring cleaning. I think I'll have me some lunch. I have the battery charging here that runs the shower pump. Usually if I just charge that now in the spring and then right after deer hunting when we get out of here and can't come in for the winter, that's all it takes. Well, it never did get sunny out today like they said it was going to, but at least now the wind has calmed down. The lake is like glass. I think I'll run out there and see if I can't catch any northerns. Still not the, the good day for northerns. It should be nice and sunny and stuff like that, but it is opening day. I need to go out and give it a try again. He hit it again, but he won't grab it. <laughs> okay, so what I'm fishing with is I've got my bait caster. I always fish with bait casters when I'm out for northerns and stuff. Anything that's casting, I got a spinner bait. This is my favorite color, white and uh, with the double blade on it. Uh, the only thing I'm not liking is this line I put on when I was down in Louisiana. I got this reel before I went down there two years ago and it's a braided line that's like six pound that looks like but it's actually 30 or 35 pound. I mean it's nice but it's hard to tie knots because it's so um, so flexible and uh, I'm finding that it isn't holding up good with the bait caster. It'll cause knots in here even if I don't have any type of a bird's nest. It's like it just, I don't know, it just doesn't hold up real well with this kind of a, a reel. Every time. All right, guys. Well, I finally got one. There have been at least 15 fish that have come right up to the boat, or they'll hit it and they'll let go. They're just really finicky today. I am going to keep this one though because I do want to eat some northern. It's been a long time. Okay, everyone. Well, just the one fish for the freezer today. I should have kept that one this morning too, but. Um, tonight at least it was fun. A lot of fish coming up to the boat like that, um, hitting the bait and stuff like that. Made it made it exciting anyway. I'm gonna get that fish cleaned up. I have a steak to cook on the fire and uh, tomorrow I head home. I know you guys have watched me do this before, but I'm going to get rid of these Y bones. There we go. Nice little slab of meat.
I can't complain about that supper. If it tastes half as good as it smells, it's going to be delicious. All right, everyone. Well, it's been a great weekend. It's uh, already almost 20 to 11, so I'm going to hit the bed. And uh, tomorrow, I'm heading home. Everything's packed in the truck, ready to head home. A lot of those logs for future furniture projects. Remember, those project uh, videos are now on the Northern Seclusion channel, so if you guys are not subscribed to that, run over there, because there's some that you haven't seen. Everything is shut down in here. And it's time to head home. Thanks a lot for watching everybody. We'll see you guys on the next video.